Hey yeah, folks, Automatic here. For Automatic Games, I hope this video finds you well. I'm doing well. We're gonna play a little Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord here. And what I really want to do with this character is um, kind of play him as a foot soldier, at least to start. Uh, I'm not using a foot soldier mod or anything like that. Just, just trying to go along with it, essentially. Um, get him in the right outfit, in this case for a levy. Uh, so his name is, what is his first name? Adamant. Adamant Zeal. And, uh, he is currently a Maroc. At least I believe that's how you'd pronounce that. I'm not sure. But that, that is the village that he pretty much calls home. And just for shits and giggles, we're going to say that this is his homestead right here. And I kind of wanted to start at, at so much of a, a low-level basis. Um that his his party is pretty much made up of companions uh, all well for the most part all but one dressed as a uh, as a um, footman vlandian footman there's one of them danos the surgeon good old danos so the idea being that these are all you know his buddies from this small town and uh They've been formed into a levy. There's another one. I believe that's Roth. Yep. Rothard the Brave. He's honest, too. That's one of his traits. This guy back here. <laughs> Paul Mark. He's, uh, he's kind of shady. He's got not so upstanding skills. Uh, this is the oldest guy in the bunch. I want to say he's like 49 or something. The rest of us are all in our early, early 20s. Well, early to late 20s. What was his name? The Tracker. I remember that. Vanther the Tracker. Um, I think he also has the honest trait. Whatever that does, I don't know. I just, you know, for the sake of role playing, I guess it's kind of interesting. was hoping to see his brother, Bias, around here. But, uh, yeah, I don't see him. So a little tour through Maroc before, um, before we head out. Essentially, his brother has come here. His brother was a veteran of our war with, uh, the Batanians. And uh, we've... <laughs> it's always back and forth in this game, you know. But we're now at peace with them. And we're at war with Sturgia. And so he has come here to raise a levy. Uh, that is to say, conscript some men. And uh, it's going to be primarily um, uh, footmen. Vlandian footmen, hence the uniforms. We'll try to get more of them, or if we get peasants, we'll we'll train them up to footmen, which is fairly modest, and uh, we'll go with that. I think we'll test our metal as well by going up against some bandits. We'll probably play like uh, I don't know a seven day stretch here in game. That is. That said, we should check the date. It's the 8th day of spring. So, yeah. We'll go to, like, the, the 15th or the, uh, the 16th. So, there are 10 of us. Let me, uh, I guess here I can show you bias. Show you the whole group, really. You got Adam, or Adamant, um... He is the second eldest Zeal brother. Then you've got that, that dick, <laughs> Polmark the Shark. 
And he is. It doesn't show his attributes right here, does it? Oh, well. Either way, his are all negative. But you gotta love them, right? We're a band of brothers. Then you've got Vanther. He's, he's the older fellow. Rothard. Uh, the honest, brave type. You got three footmen that I don't know. And we've got Olverd. Olverd the Grizzled. I guess he's seen some stuff. And then uh, earlier we saw Danos, the surgeon. And our commander, so to speak, is, is Bias. Or Sir Bias. Bias Zeal. So that is to say, uh, my eldest brother. And, and we do have a prisoner. We caught him in an outhouse. He was drawing the village. But you know, he's sturgy, and so we're, we're going to lock him up. That's what you do. Well, I believe we will take our leave. North of us is Galland. Um, I guess we'll zoom out and show you where we're at in the world. So, uh, Vlandia is the Red Kingdom. So it's all those red cities. And as you get closer, you see forts and villages. As for us, we're going to head up to this hideout. A bandit hideout, and uh, like I said, we'll test our metal. Hold up here. We will try to intercept these guys. Why not? They're bandits. I believe there's only five. Where's bro? Where's my brother? Sir Bias. There he is. Oh. Hang in there, boys. We got this. Nice teamwork right there. Who was that? Polmark. You got an arrow in you. Oh yeah, celebrate. Damn, Paul Mark. We gotta pull that out of you. Yeah! Yeah. No prisoners will go ahead and loot everything. And we'll continue our trek. I do have to be... You know what? We might sit. We might stay put. We'll see what this guy's doing. Okay, they're going to keep walking. That's 16 additional bandits over there. They just ran across a pretty healthy patrol. We are just going to hunker down for the night. And there's Sunrise. Of course, we could have struck by night, I suppose. I think you're supposed to. Yep. Alright, we'll wait till nightfall. Maybe we'll spy some bandits coming through in the interim. There's three. I mean, if somebody was foolish enough to get close, we'd pounce. But we're not going to go chasing bandits all over the place. Not when we're planning on hitting their hideout. Of course, if they bulk up enough in number, they'd come at us, perhaps. You know what? Nine might be worth it. Unless he links up with that ten... And of course, now it's nightfall. 
Alright, we've chased him off. Let's double back. We're going to take all ten of us, of course. Everyone's in good shape. Vanther's got a minor wound. Danos has a scratch. Yeah, Vanther's in the worst shape, and that's not very bad. All right. He don't see me yet. He's about to. Ouch. Okay. Get him. Or don't. You know, I got this. Whatever. Shit. Adamant's uh, being a little too uh, forward here. Let's take take a load off. Okay, right, back to our feet. It's like a showdown. He says you've quite you've cut quite a swath through my men there, damn you. How about we settle this one on one? Well I am wounded. But I'm also well practiced in the arena. done. Nice. Alright. And I think we all survived. That's nine. I make ten. None at all. Look at him. He's, he's not running, he's dead. <laughs> and we will take prisoners. All of them. And we'll uh, take some time and gather up their crap. Uh, I won't really inventory it, I guess we'll just do that when we sell it. Chances are we're not keeping any of it. We'll sleep it off where, you know, where we were. Where that fight took place, wait till sunrise and then head back to Galland.
Do we intercept him? I mean, that patrol's right there, so yeah, let's nab him. Oh, no. Scratch that. We double back. Maybe if this group of ten? No. Nope. All right. Here, I think we want to go to the dungeon. Well, truly, we want to give prisoners to the dungeon. Yeah. There we go. Because, you know, that would, that would please our king. And who is our king, right? Uh, what is his name? Dirt, Dur something. Uh. Durthert, King Durthert of Vandia. And as noted earlier, we're at war with Sturgia. And that's precisely why we're raising troops. And we'll see if any can be. Uh, recruited here. Yeah, they can. And we're specifically looking for the footmen. We could get peasants and train them up. But his orders are to raise a levy of footmen. Yeah, we'll bring on a few recruits. I kept calling them peasants. How insulting. They're recruits. And I don't know which is worse, technically. It's not a joke. I would almost assume the peasants, but can't be sure. All right, well, it's still early enough in the day of the 10th that, uh, that we'll hit a village or two. See if we can't uh, recruit a few more before we start heading north. We'll head north to join the army. Well, there's one footman. Well, there are 22 of us. Twenty-three of us. And as it's nightfall, we will sleep here in, uh, what's the name of this one? Allerstown. Sounds pleasant enough. Move on to Jackalon. Some bandits there. It was tempting. But we're going to proceed. Well, we're getting a man here, a man there. There is no concrete number of what we need. We, we just really want to support the cause. Yeah, there, there's no concrete number, though.
These guys are close. I believe there's only eight of them. Kind of see them up there in between those trees. Do not see my brother right now. Oh, there he is. I can barely see him over. Over on the right side of the line. Guess that means I'm on the wrong side. Behind you. All eight of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just don't, I don't have the enthusiasm. We've been blessed. <laughs> They've been blessed with the enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh... I don't know if we want to take prisoners, do we? Yeah, what the hell. We'll take them. Those peasants, they're free to go. And those really were peasants there. We are going to stay put for a bit. Recoup from the fight. Another fight over there. Boy, there's a lot of them ganging up on... Uh... Never mind. The caravan prevailed. I thought if... The... I thought if that last group of nine got involved... Boy, it's almost nightfall. For role-playing sake, I don't like to travel unless necessary at night. So actually, we'll, we'll go about this far and stay here. Give everybody an opportunity to heal. Alright, we'll continue the track north. Nineteen of them. Well, nothing we're interested in. Hopefully we can get, uh, you know, at least get past the river by nightfall. It's dawn on me I was heading more east than, than north. We'll go after these guys. Well, <clears throat> we overtook them, but, but it's dark. I don't like fighting in the dark. I don't know about the rest of you guys. I hear horses. No, maybe not. Maybe that's just us marching. Yeah. 
Who's that with no helmet? Dancer. Oh, shit. You must be some kind of chief. What was your wolf head? This hardly seems fair. There we go. Sure did. How about that? Oh, my poor shield. And they had crap, and we took it. We'll, we'll rest and recuperate, and then we'll actually uh, we'll stop by this village, won't we? Let's do that. See if we can get yet another footman. Nah, just recruits. Nope. Gonna pass. And these are Batanians. So, okay. That's going to do. We're going to be taking uh, 24 troops up there. Well, maybe I should have taken the recruits. Oh, well. Where are we heading? We're heading to Varman's army. So, we'll set that. And follow our boys. It is. It's a boys club. There ain't a lady among them. Actually, a bias. The, uh, the eldest brother of the Zeal family. He did get married. I forget the sister-in-law's name. Apologies to her. She's special, though. So, you know, I'm in the wrong there. And then we got a little, uh, third in line is a sister, and then the youngest is a boy. Parents are deceased. They, uh, they both took an arrow to the knee, but they weren't able to retire, unfortunately. I don't know why I hit that. There we go. Well, his army has gotten closer. Okay. They're less than a day's ride. Walk. None of us are riding. Okay. He, he looks, like, beset by, uh, well, clearly, yeah, there's a battle going on. And we're just going to wedge ourselves in there and join the army. 
Wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is pretty much a route. So we're really not going to participate. There's only seven enemies remaining, so we're going to let it go. It's a shame we couldn't participate in that, or, well, that we shouldn't have. And still, they gave us some kind of prize. Yeah, we'll take that. A little participation trophy. I'll take it. <clears throat> and we will technically join the uh, join the army here. And now we don't have to think. We we just follow this around, and suddenly we're in a battle. Okay. We, we do outnumber them by the looks of it. What's the horn mean? He don't know either. Shit. Yeah, he's not one of us. is a little hectic. By fighting a guy and then some horses got between us, they left and he was gone. Alright, feels like this guy knows what he's doing. Or he did, anyways. Before his untimely demise, this don't look good. I think we lost the initial uh, push with the infantry. Hopefully the cavalry fight's going well. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I thought that was uh, one of my buddies. He's just fellow levy, fellow footman. Still damn good to see them. Yeah, I don't know about catching those horsemen, but here comes some infantry. <laughs> Walked right into it. Are you? Yeah, you are. Okay, just checking. Uh-oh, it's the remix. There we go. 
They snapped out of it. One more push, boys. We got this. Except Calvary. <laughs> I did that. They don't believe me. I feel like I did. You think I got you? I think I got you. I'll, go, I'll call Dano or Medic if you if you back me up there. Defensive line. Where exactly? Well, boys, I think we whipped him. I guess this is our... This is the defensive line that I heard about, yeah? I gotta take a peek, you know? Shit, dude. I think they're shooting at groundhogs. I don't I don't see anybody except for our guys. What's your name anyway? Oh, we got to run. So much for small talk on the main line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw the elephant today, I feel like, and prevailed. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> this is this battle is uh, in waves. And this is the next wave, but it's extremely lopsided. I'm wounded anyway, so I'm going to sit this one out. Nice. Oh, it's good to be here. Glad, glad I could help. Prisoners, we can't take them. We're, I mean, what are we, 17 troops? Yeah, we, somebody else can take the prisoners. We will take the, the, the booty, though. Not the prisoners' booty. Well, technically it is. Boy, now our capacity's exceeded. We're going to have problems fit for a steward. Or, or a quartermaster, anyway. Alright. We have stopped by, uh... Dunglenys. Uh... It's a battalion town. So, not our enemies currently. Not our allies either, but uh, this is this is where we we're gonna wind up, I suppose, and we're we I think we'll dress down and go to the uh, go to the tavern. Well, hell, let's let's drop off our prisoners. We do have a couple, don't we? Now you got to pay a bribe to enter the keep. Oh. You know what? They probably don't want uh, Sturgeon prisoners anyways. Not necessarily. Um, 
They should be kept in our jails, I believe. Well, the least we can do is go to the tavern and see this out. Get into our civilian clothes, yeah? Danos, good to see you. Okay. We'll just hang out in this tavern for the rest of the evening. I believe the date is it's either the 14th or the 15th. So that brings us to the end of this adventure. Pretty much just a week. And in that time, uh, our protagonist here, Adamant Zeal, was uh, formed into a, a, a levy group by his brother. They saw some success against bandits. Uh, even had to fight some bandits on the way up north to join the army. And then he saw his first battle. From the lowest possible vantage point, that of, of an infantryman. And uh, haphazardly put together a levy at that. That'll do it, folks. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I never know what I'll what I'll conclude and what I what'll just peter out. But I might do another another week in the life of this dude at some point. Um, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. I I've been playing a hell of a lot of this game. Anyhow. Uh, That'll do it for me. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. As always, this is Automatic for Automatic Games. If you like this kind of thing, like this kind of thing. And if you subscribe to this sort of thing, you can do that too. See you!